This is a tip for website designers and developers who would like to remove the bulky lorem ipsum placeholder text in their source code when they're designing websites and replace it with something that's a little more nerdy that will slim their source code down a bit too. So for those of you who don't know, lorem ipsum is old Latin dummy text used by print designers and web designers to hold the place of real copy that the site author will write later on. So the designer will copy and paste lorem ipsum paragraphs into the areas where real copy will go eventually. And this allows the designer to complete the design more easily by seeing how the page looks with its text on it before the actual copy is even written. So with just a few lines of JavaScript, I'll show you how to output all of this and you can even output a whole lot more if you like. But really, however much it outputs is up to you. And the script will even let you specify how many sentences you want in each paragraph before a double line break occurs and forms a new paragraph. So I have my little line of code using JavaScript to tell the page to write 40 lines, 40 sentences. And in the script logic, every time it gets to 10 sentences, it gives it a double line break. That way you get the nice appearance of paragraphs at the intervals that you set it to be. And it can be any text that you want it to be, any dummy text at all. Okay, all you have to do is go into the point of your document where you want the text to render and open up a script element. And the first thing we'll do is create a variable called ipsum. And that's going to be equal to a string, which could be any sentence you want. I'm going to use the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog because that is the sentence in the English language that uses, I think it uses every character of the alphabet. And make sure after the period you just put a space. Now in the next line, we're going to create a for loop. And the for loop gets three parameters in order for it to run. The first parameter is a variable called i, which is the value that will be incremented within the for loop. We'll start it off with a value of zero. Put a semicolon, and the second parameter uses a condition operator to see if i is still less than the ceiling that you want. So in my case, I had 40 sentences that I wanted to output. Put semicolon, and the next parameter is i++ plus plus, which is to increment the i variable because in the start of the loop and the first time it runs the i variable is going to be zero the next time it runs it's going to be a one and the next time it's going to be two and so on and so forth until it hits the ceiling of 40 and then your loop stops the third parameter does not get a semicolon so after the i++ plus plus, don't put a semicolon there now if i was to take a simple document right and write ipsum which is that sentence in my for loop and then i view the document you can see I have a whole bunch of sentences there all lumped right on top of each other. But I also want to have the appearance of paragraphs to give me really good dummy text. So I just add a little bit more code logic. So I'm going to use an if condition and I'll explain that to you right now. Pop in the if condition, go down two lines, close off the curly brace, and let's copy this. And let's make sure we leave that in place so it writes the ipsum line every time the loop runs right here regardless of what's happening in this if condition. So in the if condition, we want to put in a set of double quotes and then a break tag. Actually, you want two break tags to create a double line break. Now, let's explain what the if condition's logic is. So there's really two conditions, and I'm joining them together using the AND operator in JavaScript. So I'm saying, if i, as the loop is running and the i keeps incrementing, if i modulus 10 and I'm using the modulus to see if i is divisible by 10 is equal to 0, that, that will give me a true or false. So only if i is divisible by 10 equaling true, and if i is greater than 1, then and only then do we write the double line break to make a new paragraph. And let's see what that gives us. So you have the setting of choosing how many sentences in total that you want. You also have the setting right here for how many sentences occur before a double line break gets inserted. The only reason I'm checking this condition to see if i is greater than 1 is because if you remove that, let me show you, press Control S and run it, you'll get a double line break in the front of your content on the top, and that's not cool. You want your text to start at the top of the container, so that's why you have I'm checking to see if i is greater than 1, and that gives you this, which is exactly what you want. Now, like I said, 
you can change this text to be anything you want. You can even put some old Latin in there if you like to make it look more like Laura Mipsum. And just remember that this variable is the total amount of sentences, which you can also put that into a variable up here. But it's easier to just write in the number of sentences that you want to output, and then you write in how many sentences output before a double line break occurs to make a new paragraph. See, if I make this a 2 or a 3, you'll see what happens. Every three sentences, we get a double line break to make a new paragraph. So you leave that on something like 10, and it makes a nice bulky paragraph dynamically. And then if you want to slim this up or compress it just a little bit, you can remove all the white space. And then you'll have, after you write this, you can just compress it like that. You can remove all this white space, really. All this, all that, this one. You can remove that white space, that white space, that white space, that one, that one, that one, that one. And that's pretty slim right there. And then run it and make sure it still goes. And you got it. So there it is compressed. Two little lines can make thousands of paragraphs. So now instead of having tons and tons of paragraphs of Laura Mipsum clogging up your source code, you can do it dirty nerdy style.